Tyler Anderson had a rough go. There's no denying that. Two starts to go against the Cardinals. He lasted two thirds of an inning. That's at the knees. See you later. Machado lines this to the gap in left center field. And I'm watching Turner run. He looks to be running pretty well. He's going to cut home. And he will score. It's a base hit the other way. Parr charging hard. Machado coming home, and the throw is in time. Out at the, oh, the, the ball came out. The ball came out. Machado safe. This is in the air to Parra in right. He'll make the catch. Two runs, three hits. Tough first inning for Tyler Anderson. The guy who owns a terrific curveballs on the mound for the Dodgers this afternoon, Rich Hill. He's been at this for a while now. And this ball crushed high and deep right field. Stay fair, it's gone. It is a fair ball. Here come the homers from Chuck Nasty. Back-to-back -back ball games. And just like that, it's two to one. The Dodgers moved up Rich Hill because they felt like he was going to have a lot more success with the strikeout against the Rockies, but the Rockies have seen him so many times. At the knees, a strikeout. And he brings up in Sully and Spilly. I'm sure you can talk about that one. Well, right now we've got to talk about Kike Hernandez home run. His 20th of the year. He's had a remarkable season hitting the long ball. And for Hernandez, he makes it a 3-1 to one game. That's the 29th home run allowed by Tyler Anderson. Loud, but right at Holiday. Oh, that missed the baseball. That'll cost the Rockies a run. Dozier comes around, Turner to third, safe there. That ball. And this is a tough play for Desmond. He'll drop step and get back and get the out on Machado. Well, this time, Hill strikes him out. And that's strike three. Parr thought it was outside, it may have been. And once again, unfortunately, it's a short start for Tyler Anderson. 3-2, ground ball third, great play, Nolan. High throw, Desi makes the catch. That saved at least one, probably two runs. And Blackman goes down. That is now nine in a row set down by Rich Hill since the Blackman home run. Incorporate that leg kick. He's a hitting machine since then. That's fair. Broken bat, right center field. Parr trying to get there. Lays out and makes the catch. Uh, this is in the air to camp. Oh, he lost it. I don't think he, he sees it. this. Nope, he didn't. DJ should end up at third base. And he will. That's maybe the break the Rockies were looking for. Rockies get the run, 4-2. This is going to score two runs. And it's six to one. Well, you've heard some interesting paths to the big leagues. His story is truly phenomenal. Got a big strikeout. Okay, that's not a bad little major league debut. That's strike three. 69th pitch. And he strikes out Murphy. But you're going to see some of the lefties parade off the bench as you did in the latter third of the game yesterday. This ball is well hit to center field. 
And this is good. Justin Turner is doing what Justin Turner seemingly always has done against the Rockies torment them. Two run home run, now it's eight to two. 13th home run this year for Turner. RBI's 42 at 43. He also has 15 home runs. And that's strike three. Good job by Almonte. Proud. All that more today after the game on the club. There's a base hit. Good start to the sixth inning. Charlie is going to turn up the heat and arrive at second with a double. This ball line to left and deep, and it is over the head of Chris Taylor. Charlie Blackman will come home. DJ does it again. Pedro Baez comes in having thrown 10 consecutive scoreless relief appearances. This ball driven to center field and deep, and there's our Nolan on an 0 2 pitch. You have to let it go and see the baseball. Nolan feels like a human being again. Welcome back, Nolan. It's good to see you again. Story goes down swinging. And he change speeds and he gets back. And the first guy out of the pen in this new ball game with the Rockies now trailing just eight to five will be Jake McGee. This ball is got a twist on it. Holiday lays out, can't make the catch. Farmers will end up at third base. He got him down and in, though. How about that? Or maybe down and away a little bit. Great pitch by McGee. Oh, and this ball's pretty well hit to right. Throw to second. And Harrison Musgrave, who's allowed lefties to hit just 204, has been summoned by Buddy Black. Puig takes off. Doesn't matter. Play at the plate, maybe. Out at the plate. What a catch by Musgrave. 2-1. And this ball's driven to right center field. Puig going back, and it is good. Second home run of the day for Blackman, third in the last 24 hours, and the Rockies are within two. Does momentum come from defense? Maybe it does. You kept him in to go left on left. Blackman said, fine with me. That story's gone, two outs. Are we going to see Ryan Madsen? Are we going to see Ross Stripling? Who are we going to see? This ball is twisted towards left center field and it's going to run to the wall. And trying to go for three is Hernandez. He'll have a triple. Boy, that hurts. Lead off triple. This is fifth and diving. Oh, almost past Desmond. I thought he caught it. It got past him, and now a ninth run for the Dodgers. Brian Shaw will try to get Manny Machado with two men on and keep it a three-run game and give the Rockies a chance in the bottom of the ninth. Three and two. And this is in the air, right center field and deep. Charlie will get back and make the catch. But if they go to the right-handed aspect of their bullpen, that would put in play cargo. But nothing replicates this. 2-2, two -two, line to center. But it's right out. Taylor, and that'll end the ball game. So the Dodgers win it, 9-6. They take two of three in Denver. And now the Rockies' lead on Los Angeles is a half a game again. But the Rockies remain in first place. Arizona in the eighth inning. They have a 4-2 lead at home.